high in the mist-shrouded mountains, where ancient pine trees whispered secrets to the wind and the air was crisp with the scent of juniper, there lived a woman named Arya who possessed a rare talent for crafting intricate glass sculptures that shimmered like captured moonlight. Arya was in her early thirties, with eyes as clear and blue as the mountain lakes, and hands that moved with a delicate precision honed over years of mastering her art. Arya's studio was nestled in a quaint cabin perched on the edge of a crystal clear lake, where the sunlight danced on the water's surface and reflections of the surrounding peaks shimmered on the walls. Shelves lined with glass sculptures adorned the studio, each piece a testament to Arya's ability to capture the essence of nature's beauty in fragile yet enduring form. Arya's personal style mirrored her love for the mountains and the ethereal quality of glass. She often wore flowing dresses in shades of azure and silver, reminiscent of the sky at dawn and dusk, paired with jewelry crafted from polished crystals that caught and refracted the light like miniature rainbows. A necklace, adorned with a pendant shaped like a crescent moon, hung from her neck, a symbol of her connection to the celestial rhythms that inspired her creations. One serene morning, as Arya meticulously shaped molten glass into a delicate snowflake that glimmered with iridescent hues, a traveler named Luca stumbled upon her studio. Luca had been wandering the mountain trails in search of solitude and serenity, drawn by tales of Arya's mystical glass sculptures that seemed to capture the very essence of the natural world. Arya greeted Luca with a warm smile her eyes sparkling with a quiet understanding of his quest for beauty and tranquility. She invited him into her studio, where the air was alive with the faint aroma of pine and the gentle crackling of the glass furnace. As Arya demonstrated her craft, molding glass with skillful hands, shaping delicate petals of flowers frozen in time, and spinning molten strands into ethereal spirals that seemed to dance in the light, Luca found himself mesmerized by her artistry and the transformative power of glass. Inspired by Arya's ability to capture the fleeting beauty of nature in her sculptures, Luca expressed a desire to learn the art of glass blowing. Arya graciously took him under her wing, teaching him the ancient techniques passed down through generations, how to gather molten glass on the end of a blowpipe, how to shape and manipulate the glass with heat and breath, and how to coax delicate forms from the fiery depths of the furnace. Over the weeks that followed, Luca and Arya embarked on a creative journey together, each infusing their glass sculptures with their unique perspectives and experiences. Luca's sculptures mirrored the rugged beauty of the mountain landscapes, crystal-clear lakes, jagged peaks, and swirling mists, while Arya continued to create pieces that reflected the ephemeral beauty of flora and fauna, capturing moments of stillness and movement frozen in time. As their friendship blossomed and their artistic collaboration flourished, Luca realized that Arya's studio was more than just a workshop, it was a sanctuary where art and nature intertwined, where beauty was shaped from raw elements, and where the boundaries between artist and observer blurred into a dance of light and color. When Luca finally bid farewell to Arya and her mountain studio, his heart filled with gratitude for the unexpected encounter that had reignited his passion for creativity and deepened his appreciation for the art of glassblowing. Arya, too, felt a sense of fulfillment knowing that her sculptures had not only inspired others but had also forged a lasting bond between kindred spirits who shared a reverence for the natural world and its ephemeral beauty. In the mist-shrouded mountains, where ancient pine trees whispered secrets to the wind and the air was crisp with the scent of juniper, Arya's studio remained a sanctuary of creativity, a place where glass sculptures shimmered like captured moonlight, where artists found inspiration in nature's ever-changing canvas and where the essence of beauty continued to unfold in forms both delicate and enduring.